Hello YouTube, this is Michael Pavlitich coming to you from sunny New Zealand. Now I've come across a post on Facebook and I'm sorry if I get your name wrong, Mustafiz Jahib. Um, he shared his first post and he asked a question on the MX Linux Facebook page. How can I start hotspot in MX Linux 18 to use internet on Android smartphone? I'm using it on Dell and Spirin and it gives his machine type. The first answer he got that made any sense come from Nicholas Farmer, and Nicholas Farmer he got it right. So what I'm here to do is to provide a video to show how this whole thing works. So what I'd like to do now is walk you through this exact process. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is operate the whole thing from a virtual machine, and I'm going to run it all within VirtualBox. What that means is that I will have one limitation. I won't be able to show you a working wireless connection, um, simply because wireless would require it would go out of the machine, and VirtualBox doesn't give you direct access to wireless anyway. I am instead going to show you how to get the internet connection sharing working through two network cards. So let's get started. What I'll do first is I will bring up this text file here where I have copied and pasted the contents of Nicholas's instructions for enabling ICS, that is Internet Connection Sharing and Support, in MX Linux. So I'm, now I've got this saved so it will boot just a little bit faster. So we basically install DNS Mask, we turn off the DNS Mask service with disabling it here, then we remove it from the startup entries so it won't start automatically. Therefore it is used only as and when required. I agree with uh, Nicholas, this statue would be a very good addition to the MX Linux system. It may, may appear in the future yet. Uh, that's not my call. OK, of course after rebooting everything works. Let's go ahead and get started. Righto, we're up and running. Let's go ahead and take these, uh, get these commands going. sudo apt get stall. Oh, hang on, one big mistake. Update first. Always update apt get first. Install DNS MASQ. So, so apt get install DNS mask. Off we go. It's asking to install uh, DNS mask. Basically, it wants to install this additional package. I'm going to go ahead and hit yes and enter. And it's going to go ahead and install. It's also going to enable the services and plug itself into my uh, my system startup. Right, that's done. So, system CTL disable DNS MASQ. sudo system CTL disable DNS mask. Okay, done. It takes a couple of seconds. We don't worry too much about any error messages that it throws up as well. OK, the next command is sudo update hyphen rc d dns mask remove. So sudo update rc dot d n s m a s q off we go and sudo reboot and we go down for a reboot. OK, what I want to do now is with this machine here is I want to add a network card to it. So I'm going to go ahead and here and change the settings, go to the network. We've only got one network adapter available. The other three possibilities are not there. So I'm going to go ahead and enable another one. When you enable a new network card in VirtualBox, it automatically defaults to NAT. But I'm going to go ahead and change that to internal network. Now what internal network does is it makes a network that is only available within the virtual box framework. It does not reach outside of that. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK on that. And then on this one here, which is going to be my guest, I'm going to go and check the settings on that one as well. Network. That's already set on internal network. Perfect. That's exactly where I want it to be because I've been using that for something else. Now I'll, I will upload this file here and into the notes with the video. OK, let's get started with this. Start that. The, 
the frameworks are now in place to be able to use internet connection sharing. And I'm going to go ahead and pretty much set that up as we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is power on this virtual machine as well. So I have MX18, latest version fully updated here, and over here I have MX17. So that way we've got uh, a point of difference between the two VMs. First thing you'll notice is if you look at the MX18 VM, this little network icon is just spinning round and round and round. Now the reason for that is because a card is looking for a network IP address, but it's not finding one. Uh, same thing's happening here. So truth here is though, is that we already have a network address. Let's go ahead and check that by right clicking and clicking on connection information. So here we have the wired network connection. The second card's not showing at the moment, but we'll get to that. It's got the IP address, it's got the DNS servers. That means I have everything operational. So let's just go ahead and test that for certain. Here we go, ping google.co.nz. Boom, we have two responses from Google. I'm now going to go ahead and set up the network card. Edit connections. So the first thing we know is I have two network cards, but when we look at it like this, sometimes it's not easy to tell when you're using Ethernet which card is which, simply because the way it's named here. Well, we can go ahead and change that, but if I just pop in here and have a look at it, I know my, my MAC addresses, and this one here is the MAC address which is connecting through the VirtualBox NAT to my host machine. So this is my first network card. So I'm going to go ahead and rename that. I'm going to call it OS, OS Host. You can call it anything you want. It's just a name and it's only there for your benefit. This one here being a wired connection is a second card. We are going to have a look at the properties of that. We see it's just a general Ethernet card and an IPv4, it is looking for an address. We will be changing that but before I do that, I'm going to show you the process of making a wireless one, but I can't bring it to completion again because, as I said, there is no wireless hardware available to this VM as we speak. To pretend we're adding a card, click on Add, and we're going to choose Wi-Fi. So go ahead and Create. And now we start with a service set ID. So we can call this Wi-Fi connection. Give it whatever you want. This is just a friendly name that works only within your machine. This is the broadcast ID. So let's just say ICS host. Okay, internet connection sharing host. Now by default, they're set up to operate as a client. So secondary to a host somewhere along the line. What we're going to do here is change this to a hotspot. So in the mode, we change to a hotspot. We get a few little things here that we can fill in. I'm going to leave those blank. If I were to put Wi-Fi security in there, like I want a password in there to protect the wireless, I would simply choose WPA and WPA2 personal, and I'll put a password in there, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. Righto. I'm going to check IPv4 settings now, and we see here it says a method is shared to other computers. So when we change this setting here, to hotspot, that automatically changed IPv4 to share it to other computers. So if this was possible for me to save this right now and physically connect the wireless card, sorry I missed that, which would have been here, the device. This little triangle is greyed out, I can't click on it or do anything because there's no physical wireless hardware available. Sorry I missed that and I hope that doesn't bring any confusion. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cancel this and I'm simply going to modify this network card here so it will work. Click on edit and but we don't have an option here to change the the type. That is now an IPv4 so I click in here and shared to other computers. I can go ahead and click save. Righty ho. So we see we are connected wide connection one. As a matter of fact I might even just change the name of that ICS host. There we go, save that again. And we've got the connection. We've got the OS host and the ICS host, which tells me very clearly which is which. So about now, this VM will have taken the signal that's come in primarily through my laptop's wireless. So there's my wireless here. Um, it has been 
put through network address translation through VirtualBox and fed into this machine's card. This card here is receiving that internet. From here, it is being netted a second time and being fed out through ICS host. Now let's go and check how that works. If I right click on the network connection here, and I click on connection information, we now have two cards showing here, the OS host and the ICS host. What I'd like you to do is to take note of the local IP address. So on my host, I have 10.0.2.15. That is the local machine address. The default route, 10.0.2.2, is the path out of here. That means this is the path to the internet. But of course, when it gets to the internet, it has to go somewhere else to find name servers. And that's what these are here. Let's now go and have a look at the ICS host and see how that differs. Remember the number, 10.0.2.15. The ICS host has a whole different IP address, 10.42.0.1. And there's a different type of broadcast address and a subnet mask. We're not going to worry too much about that right now. We're just going to trust that it's working. We pop into the second virtual machine here, and I'm going to tell it to try to reconnect. It made a connection immediately. It was faster than I could blink. Let's now go and check the internet connection details on this. So the first thing I see, the IP address 10.42.0.141. So what that tells me is I have been connected through the internet connection sharing from here. And that's working. So not only is it superbly easy to make ICS working, if you're not afraid to make a few configuration changes, it's also superbly easy to set up the configuration for it within the network tools provided to you by MX Linux and XFCE. Gonna, I'm going to finish with this. I hope it's been really helpful for you guys, and uh, hope you enjoy your time with MX Linux. Bye for now.